What's up, guys? This is the Roadman, and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Dead War. Let's play as the Kingdom of Portugal. And in this episode, we have landed in North America, and we have so we have pushed quite decisively against our enemies. And this force under Sebastião Figue, Figue, under Sebastião, we are attacking the city of Quebec, and this will knock out the faction from the game. And they have a reasonable force against us, but it will not be enough to stop them from falling to our Portuguese might. So let's take them out. Then we want to build some ships uh, in the put in their port to garrison it. And we also want to build a few to cover the uh, crossing routes into Montreal. We're not going to want the Iroquois to have too much of an easy time of it, uh, getting behind our lines and causing mischief. We're going to want to make sure those are those areas are covered. Should be, oh, it looks like it should, should be quite a nice battle. So, actually, my guns are up here. Because we are going to be pushing forward. We are not going to be passive. We're going to march onto them and defeat them in battle. Put my militia on the right. Frontiersmen even further on the right. Grenadiers on the left, pikes, maybe with the frontiersmen because it's a bit built up over there. Let's spread out my skirmish cavalry and my fighting cavalry. Excellent. General in the centre. Let's get to it. Now they've deployed right at the back. Let's give them an order, something like that. That's probably not where we're going to end up going, but just give them an order to go somewhere. Well, you're on the wrong flank. Even plus my grenadiers are going to push these formations over here. Actually, what I might make you guys do is push up piecemeal to the village. So maybe it's going to be you guys. Push up like so. See if you men can advance at, at speed. Enemy colonial cav will not. I say that they're going for my frontiersmen, it looks like. Yeah, they're going for the frontiersmen. They decided they couldn't do that, they charged into the secondary targets, the militia. Let's not worry about anyone else, let's just focus on this combat here for now. Pull my cavalry back. The tearsmen get into position. Won't be long for the colonial light cav to fall. Yeah, there we go. They're against a lot of militia and some of my own cavalry, so. Did not expect them to stick around for very long. Let's get the troops deployed to engage. Colonial Light push up, threaten their general. Grenadiers plus Colonial Line, pull back here. Then we are going to be advancing through the town here. There you go, battle lines have been met. The enemy general has led back to the centre. engaging? Yeah, you are engaging. Let's get our artillery to focus on this battle here. We'll 
come on skirmishers, you've got an option. Here to put the volley in. Yeah, he's room as well. There we go. Ooh, a large enemy route. A couple more units of wavering. Perfect, so let's take my infantry. Storm up. Just keep the line advancing intelligently. Cavalry out wide, get the guns to retarget grenadiers and militia. Newman advance to fire to the flank of those reinforcements. Some men push onto the guns. Newman form up to help attack the armed citizenry. You guys will soon be fire at will off. Pursue and destroy Bilocom citizenry and skirmishes. This infantry just storm over to the other flank. Push the cavalry up. Colonial light are gone, militia's gone, the grenadiers are outing. Yes, that's not what you like very much at all, is it? Who's that? Militiamen form up. Maybe let's make these two units push up against the militia. Maybe the light cavalry storm the armed citizenry, the other light cavalry storm them from kind of or slightly on the flank. over the fence. Yep, firelock arm says we do not like that one bit. Well, my skirmishes aren't even firing. So set them to fire all off. Next it was the gunners killed. Cavalry up here to mow down skirmishes. Keep my cavalry advancing. Oh, you guys should put in a good volley against the 4th Regiment. Good few kills there. Keep an advance up. Keep pushing closer and closer and closer. Target the guns. Put in the gaps. Native War Auxiliary. No, 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 no. Keep running away from that. running. Bring the native auxiliary out to the open ground. You men all will just swarm the second regiment of militia. Any enemy elsewhere is in full retreat. Yeah, I want to bring these guys out into open ground so at least I can try and redeploy some of my cavalry to help attack the native troops. Keep pushing forward though, because the enemy may recover. So just keep the line pushed up. You can try fire a volley if you've got a volley. Fire a volley before charge in. Oh god, that guy went flying! 
bring in some more native cavalry, bring this infantry, get this infantry to form up against the native bowmen, get my guns to engage, oh, we can't attack them, they will form up, my cavalry is going to form up on the flank, to be honest, the cavalry will deal with this, General hasn't even got involved. Four of my pikes. Charge! They're not even going to get a volley of bow fire off. Oh, see, look. They come back. Biolock arm citizenry. Attack. Ground the guns nearby. Killing them. Chase them off of the map. Ah, oh, there we go. They broke. <laughs> they broke because the bowmen broke. We're not going to be the only ones to stick around. I figured I may as well make my, my guns attack ground here because in case they hit and bounce, I might get some extra kills. So there we go. Quebec is secured. And I believe that's probably going to be the end of the turn. Not very much money at all. So. I want to get a sloop recruited, maybe two. That's already my money gone. But let's rebuild the happiness building, well, the opera house, and let's replenish whatever we can. Because I'm not overly concerned about moving these guys as quickly as possible. If I can get a ship to block off this crossing point, we can advance down to Montreal, clear out this last remaining British hull, though, and get some extra ships recruited to cover this crossing point. Then we just push through here against Niagara while this force advances towards Cayuga. This force here is almost nearly completed. Good, 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 good. Now I believe that's the last of our business. And yeah, you guys are waiting for the moment to attack the Pueblo Nations. Because they are protector of protector of Georgia. Not that I'm overly worried about fighting against Georgia, but I don't think George is a territory I particularly want to capture and hold because I'll be surrounded by a lot by Russia and Prussia and Persia. So that's asking me to get into war with them, which I really don't want to. We've got this fort. Oh, yeah, yes, we do. This army is marching down to Cartagena to advance on Algiers to push against the British, knock them out of North Africa, then take Valletta and destroy Britain for good. Elsewhere, everything's going okay. Good. From a tech perspective, everything's... One more turn till we get... Power Loom. So I'm not quite sure what I'd set them on after that. Need to make sure I'm upgrading my artillery buildings, which I am. Largely. Because I want heavy artillery, and I do want rockets, so let's hit end turn. Speed up. The United Provinces are going to continue their war against the Dutch. Spain is going to very helpfully convert our lands to Catholicism. The Republican Ottomans are trying to work out what it is they want to do. Yes, we want to keep building up our navy in Europe, because when that war kicks off, I'm going to be quite significantly involved in the naval arena but I also want to keep my uh, keep my trade empire strong so I've got to really keep driving home the naval advantage I'm pretty sure the British have a reasonable fleet in Valletta so I may want to try and capture it if possible Sweden. So this is the kind of thing that goes on um, in the end turn phase that if you can't see it, you think your game has kind of crashed because nothing's happening. But no, they're just sending lots of individual pieces. They got pushed back. Cologne's vulnerable. 
I don't mind if they keep fighting each other, as long as they're not fighting me. Moogles are just holding on. When we land in India, and we will land in India, uh, I'm probably going to land and go as my first port of call. Genoa still holds. The Georgians have a, have a big navy, but they're not... I think it's mostly fifths. It's not exactly super strong. So we have got 52,000 to play with. We have a rake in Cuba. So let's very quickly just deposit him in Florida. So I'm not bothered about making sure we get him to the perfect place, but I want him just to scout up to Pennsylvania. Technological advance, power loom. They've got on to selective breeding. I think I might try and get explosive rockets, because rockets are fun. Construction report. York factory. Ooh, new roads. Yeah, the government chambers. Question is, can I... Actually, one thing I might want to do is fortify Boston. That's quite an important base for us now. Can we leave Portugal? We, you're not Portugal. Quebec, we can. We can get to Montreal. Okay, due to Grand Opera House, because not so worried about research. And let's unlock Quebec's riches. Including upgrading the port and upgrading the roads. Excellent. So that'll be extra. Abundant yield fur trapper. With some mines, you've got a pleasure gardens. Good. You will contribute, and at 10 turns, you've got another town that's developing, which is somewhere. Curious. Oh well. Wait for that to happen. Fleet arrives. So you are here, I believe, to replace this fleet, because they're a bit weak. We've got a few fleets that are a bit small. You replace them, so you go back to Portugal, expand and grow your your trade fleet somewhat. Yeah, so this is going to be some extra trade fleets that are being built. You can refit more trade ships, trade fleets being built. Yeah. So you've still got some extra stuff to build. Let's get let's upgrade well, it's Lisbon fully. Lisbon port's fully upgraded. Spain's are f almost fully upgraded, but we want to get this fellow Duarte Martin deployed against the British in North Africa. Land in Iran. Then march across. No, oh, no, 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 no. I don't want you to deploy them. Deploy your troops and advance along the frontier. Full colonial British army under John Churchill. Soon we need to take out Morocco, but I'm pretty sure it's a diplomacy thing. Picture of the Dutch. So this is why I'm kind of waiting to see what happens here. The Dutch die, then Morocco will fall. A lot of good things to upgrade. Let's go over to the Americas to make sure that we've got... That we're maximising our trade output. Pretty sure ports aren't super necessary for Mexico at the minute, because they've not got... They've not run out of goods to export. But maybe a few industry buildings where use where applicable would be good. Pretty sure our most of our production buildings are good, except for the sugar plantations, because they get upgraded with when steam technology comes around. To need get a government chambers. Okay, let's upgrade the spice warehouse because I want to get more of those to market. Logging camp's not a bad get either. Got a squadron to the south. Okay, 2,300. It doesn't leave us too much to play with, but I'm sure we'll find something. 
Oh, another logging camp. And lots of things here are max upgraded. Well, I mean, apart from port infrastructure, but we can't. I'm not surprised about that. You guys are replenishing now, which is good. Maybe Montreal. You're upgrading your roads. Okay. So 800 cash. That's probably going to be upgrading a farm if we can find one. Yeah, like this fella. Upgrade them to clearances. Excellent. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Can you recruit anything cool? Marines, eh? So you may shuffle a couple of these. No, you've got... You've got a good mix. You would like some howitzers, though. Let's hit M10. <laughs> They've decided, aha, we could fight in the town, but actually we're going to push... Ooh, so the Dutch have taken Cologne? They have. The Dutch are expanding. Well, let's wait to see if they turn on us. If we do, then we will destroy them. <laughs> Lots of very similar notes here, though, to be honest. Oh, we could have attacked in the Americas. But I think we did some good uh, good upgrades. Ooh, the Ottomans could have gone for Vienna, but they didn't feel like they had the strength. Sweden's... You have to wonder, have they been... Do they foresee war with Russia and they're pushing troops into Finland? The long way round. It's very possible. Very, very possible. You want peace, you will not get it. Don't worry, Louisiana. We're going to come after you too. I think the Mughals may have just been defeated. Because they had a, a large army in that port. It's now gone. George is doing building up their fleet again. Courland is potentially up to no good. Hmm. 61,000. So just to auto the galleon. Cost us two ships. Although you may want to cycle back to... Cycle back to the homeland, repair and pick up some extra ships. New town emerges, a new Granada. Craft workshops, upgrade the port here in the Americas, or in um, Caracas. We have a new one too. So this fleet needs a bit of extra firepower for trade purposes. Probably get it from here, to be honest. Lots of these, lots of these ships look like they're captured. So then you make your way. Mm, well, to be honest, I think we are actually running out of space. Although we don't have any visibility in South America, but that's the kind of thing you want to send a battle fleet in against first. Get an Admiral's flagship first rate recruited. Plus some extra firepower. We also get upgrades, so we can do. So we can send a sloop here to cover Quebec. Although, we probably want to send you to here. You're raiding a trade route and they can't stop us unless they send ships after us. You can go to here to cover the trade, cover the roads, prevent them from crossing the river. Then build another sloop to occupy the port. We build the government council, you're still replenishing. Yes, we can push attack this British force. 
then come south and threaten the Iroquois from the west. This army and they may attack this British force here first and see where they go, then redeploy ready to attack Cayuga and this force wants to deploy to the bridge. Ready to jump on Philadelphia next turn. So before we get mad with the last of our spending. Right, we'll come over to this side. And then attack. <laughs> Just so we push them back to the capital. Very weak army. The only strength they have in it are some Amazons. So we'll attack them, force them back to the capital. Then destroy their forces there and then keep on pushing and I think that's pretty good in the grand scheme of things keep on heading east keep on driving them out and then eventually there will be no more Great Britain okay so my artillery is going to be over here Answers provide close support. Corps of infantry is going to go storming up the front. Fusiliers on the right. Line infantry and guerrillas on the left. Lancers and carabiner on the left. Cuirassier on the right. General in the middle. Just storm up. They can't stop us. Although I hear their cavalry is charging someone. So this, these units just uh, hold. Carabiner advance. Fire by right. We will deploy into square, but I'm not overly bothered about it. Storm, storm, storm. And my guns just, yeah, they're opening fire against their artillery, and that's. One cavalry unit is routed, another cavalry unit is also routed. Shattered. Even better. Even push the flank. Same with the cavalry. Carabiner fire it will off. I don't care what the cavalry is doing, they can do what they like. Fly in a square, may as well. The general fancies a piece of it, he can come and get it. Keep my cavalry pushing. Guns are in position. Carabina get to the top of the hill. Firewall is now going to be active. So the 46th Regiment is going to open fire into the hill in front of them. Oh, and irregulars. You have to reload because there are troops coming. Downing many men. There goes the standard bearer. Would it be the drummer marching towards the skirmishes? Whoop. Artillery coming in. Musket shot coming in. Ooh. Yep, artillery did for them. Um, 
So there's all the Amazons. They reveal themselves. The red coats are exposed to Portuguese fusiliers from the hill. Retarget the artillery fire. Charge my general into the general's bodyguard. Poor souls. So much death. Bring in my skirmish cavalry. Sue and destroy the enemy. Attack the militia. Precipitous collapse. Keep attacking the general's bodyguard. Try to kill John Churchill. Go on, Lance. Let's head him off. Go in the ceasefire. Got him. Excellent. But yeah, he's just ended. <laughs> just ended. That was that was a bit of a slaughter. Excellent. Oh god, they didn't even oh, push on to Algiers then. What does the British strength look like in North Africa now? Let's send a sloop to scout out the African coast. Some forces in Tunis. Let's break Safaki. So they have a fleet here. Which yeah, it's got a first rate, two first rates in it. We could do with taking that. But apart from that. It's a bit, uh, leave something to be desired. Sardinia needs some upgrades. At some point, I just need to burn a turn upgrading ports. Because that's where we're starting to really bump up against some of our highest ticket items, really. Um, I think I might upgrade... Try and upgrade this iron mine. Then next turn, push here. Because these guys will be replenished by now and they can drive towards the British holdout there. Okay. Let's hit into it. Now my spy, my agent's going to slowly start to make his way up the coast. The United Provinces were pushed all the way back to Amsterdam. They managed to hold off the Swedes. And now they've taken Cologne, another valuable region, and they're continuing to drive Sweden out of their uh, territory. Question is, will that draw us into war against, Han against uh, the Prussians? Spain is going to begin waging economic war against us. The swines. That might actually, that might actually cause a reasonable dent in our... Finances. So Russia's going to Russia. I'm sure they're going to be at war with Sweden. Oh no, they they spent all their time bringing them north. Now they're going to bring them south, one unit at a time. Don't worry, Louisiana. We've not forgotten about you. Oh no, they are still fighting. They're only in northern, northern India though. Good, I was concerned that Venice was going to block the Strait of Gibraltar because uh, that would be mighty frustrating. But yeah, I'm going to send my battle fleets out to mop up those Spanish fleets. And then once my army's dealt with the British in North Africa, they will attack Naples, take Naples, and then we may trade it to someone. For income, because I do not want to hold Naples. It's a useful territory, but I don't. I have no desires. Uh, do I want to attack them with my one lone ship? No, I do not. With all of them, though, yes, I do. Screw you, Corland. Oh, I don't need to build a, a first-rate ship of the line. Well, I don't need to build a an admiral's an admiral's a first-rate. Admiral's first rate. Admiral's flagship first rate, that's the word for it. Got a head one heavy. 
but then mostly try and stick to birds for now. Yeah, send Miss Fortuno Sousa. See, 25,000 is what we've got now, so that is that's a significant impact. Not looking to capture any ships, just destroy. The old galleons and so on, we lost a ship. So, we want... We're going to steal here for now. And then we're going to replenish. And that's a really heavy fleet. So actually I might ship one of these third rate ships of the lines over to Iran. You then take position in Sandy Bay. You guys are okay. New town emerges from Upper Canada. Good, have a craft workshop. Maybe you can have a fair market, although you might you may end up down the line getting a religious building where well, you'll get it here actually to counteract the British preacher church school I think we might this it's a bit of a duel what well, four turns to get another town that's quite that's some growth Lumber mills, fur markets. Okay, let's get make sure we're getting all of our goods to market. Okay. Right. So how we want to do this is take you to attack Jared Endicott. Destroy them, drive them west, then go for Philadelphia. I believe that's the way I want to take it. Drive down to Philly. So maybe my battle fleet I've got recruited, they might be they might form part of a ooh. They might form my Mediterranean battle fleet. So again, similar strategy as before, because we have some quite significantly effective troops in this army. Mass my lights. Give them my cavalry and support, because the left flank can hold... Infantry themselves can hold against quite a lot of different targets. Guns know what the best target is, and so do all of our guns. My foot artillery may actually engage other targets, and let my howitzers are bombard their guns that are dug in. The light infantry run into the redeployment. coming in or slammed into those line infantrymen something like that interesting choice to go for the marines Send my lights, actually get my cavalry down here. Or well, my lights are big and engage. So the 18th, yeah, they're not gonna be here very long. You all just hold in square. My light infantry has a good position up here. Another tribe auxiliary units going for the squares. On the Western European mercenaries. 
We're going to put them down. Yes, break off attack indeed. Storm out. There's another unit of infantry there. Cavalry there, but I do not care. Okay, my howitzers begin to attack the enemy. One of my regiments, of course, can deal with the deal with the guns. Our marines go for the native bows. It's the artillery shells just rain down everywhere. Okay, you go for the general's bodyguard then. Let's bring another unit in. Go for the guns. You didn't think it through, did you? Storm, storm, storm. Oh, you charge into the 17th because they're right there. It's a good number of kills, although. Definitely some friendly fire. Artillery cease fire. Colonial. No, uh, there's some native cavalry charging into my lines again. Can you men go after that amount of tribal auxiliary? Who are you against? Native musket men, native musket men. Let's maybe give you some support. That's three units. You're going after a tribal auxiliary unit on your lonesome. Shout for off that corner. The you men go for the guns, because my skirmishers can have a go at the general's bodyguard, although as soon as we ran away to go after the guns, they decided, hey, wait a minute. Beware the stakes. That's what they will use to lure us in. Charge into the general bodyguard. Okay, well there we go. The enemy, the enemy army is in flight. Some of their units have elected to try and hold ground, but pull the cavalry back. Spread my guys out. Retarget my artillery. So is it all of their marines that came back? It is. Cavalry over here. Look okay, at the Marines just broke at the first sight of artillery fire. They did not like that one bit. Second won't like it any better. You men are going to run around the tribal auxiliary. Actually, what you're going to do is deploy like so. My light infantry keeps scampering. My cavalry push over here just in case, because these are native warrior troops. They're not bad in the melee. The defense isn't so good. Oh, come on, 49th. There's a cavalry right here. Yes! Oh, nearly to a man. Reload and engage the fourth with guards. There go the enemy, enemy melee infantry. It's just this unit of fourth foot guards left. Loading and firing. Oh, there they go. Some foot guard you are. To run against overwhelming odds, for sure. But nice. That's a significant colonial force annihilated. Excellent.
So you men hold position here. And you men will attack Philadelphia. Hmm. You will attack Philadelphia. And yeah, that's a pretty good outcome. They've not got much of a garrison, so it should be pretty quick. Knock down the walls and swarm in. They have one water team, so that's not going to cause us many problems. The guns are out. You men cover the breach. Then we got... I may have gone overboard a bit with the amount of cavalry. Just maybe. Maybe. And all my dragoons can cover the, the breach as well. Speed up time, just let the gunners do their work. See how close we can get to before they. Okay, so that's how close. Speed up time. That's probably still just a bit too close. But we'll make a breach in short order. Actually, that is, that is too close. Just a bit too close. There you go, that's almost one breach. We'll make two, just to be sure. I mean, it looks like, hopefully, if they let us do it... Actually, make sure we give the order... Oh, sped up. Good. So keep loading and firing. Although I think we're running into... Yeah. This is what happens sometimes when you give them orders. When time is compressed, they don't actually take them on. They just kind of reload and then go, Oh, okay, we're done. So just speed up time, because now they've got the order, they'll be okay. But it's possible that uh, we trap a bunch of units up here or get a huge amount of kills. 33%. I mean, they've recovered most of their troops. Who's up here? 3rd Regiment of Foot Colonial Line, 1st Regiment of Militia, Garrison Militia. Last after smoke is shown. This might not get destroyed actually in one volley, but it might. Oh, it did. A whole lot of casualties. Advance and be recognized. Same with you guys. storm in, we're going to attack them. They don't have bayonets, so our guys in general are going to be more lethal. Let's get the infantry to run. Got a few units stuck up on top of the walls, so that'll help. Yeah, my infantry's running, but running infantry. We still only need to walk our cavalry. We've got a couple of units up here. A garrison line unit and a marine unit. That's actually going to cause us some trouble. That's 
throwing some infantry. Maybe two. Well, I suppose you might want to focus on native muscle auxiliary can cover one breach. Everyone else, my infantry has to go in one in strength. So I think what I want to do is set a bunch of my guys to attack the wall and then get my cavalry in. Storm in. Storm, storm, storm. So your job is to cover this breach in the event the 4th Regiment come out and attack us and my gunners can support. You men take the armoury, you men take the command HQ, you men do stuff inside. Storm the cavalry in. So yeah, the hope is I can just kind of bog these guys down until my cavalry storm in through this gate. Infantry is routing. Attack the mortars, all of you men. It's really not a good outcome. You're all fighting the marines. Take the gate. Which you men might just hold out here. Until we secure the gate, then we can storm men in from the rear. You men should do good work. Bring my general up, see if I can make sure I prevent them from breaking. Native bone auxiliary. Excellent. Cavalry in. Everyone in from the rear. Take out those. Take out those guns. Take out those mortars, because those mortars what really upset everyone. More, the courage effect of mortars is is huge. Like don't ever, don't ever think that they are like something not to worry about, because they absolutely are. Of Bowman. I'm fairly sure I may have been a mite too aggressive in this combat. Well, then my dragoons are winning. You men are doing some good work here. We've killed their general. That always helps. Got a battle in the center, but what I'd like to do is actually, you guys, my Bowman. You men set up and fire into the armed um, citizenry, actually. Just fire over their heads into the back of the other combat. Don't worry about fighting the enemy here. You men form up at least, get my dragoons in. Native musket and auxiliary are holding them off. What I want to do is ignore the garrison unit here. You men get over here, actually. Don't, so you don't fire into the back of our actual combat. Picking off the militia, when you're picking off the men up on the top. Looks like you guys aren't actually going to get involved. There's one of you 
probably stuck somewhere, maybe. So the battle on the walls is not going super well, but then again, we've managed to knock them down a peg or two. Okay, you might have to get involved in the combat. You just keep killing the garrison. Although I want to send some of my men into this actual fight. Come on, General, you're gonna have to get involved. Just do as much damage as possible to their actual garrison. Regulars are routing, so let's scuttle them back. Retarget my gunners to attack the fourth regiment. Like the light gout cavalry trying to hack their way through the tenth regiment. Bit of a scrum, this one. Doing a lot of a god of artillery damage to the fourth regiment. They've broken the guns to attack the second regiment. Oh, the timer ran out. Oh, that's <laughs> I wasn't even paying attention to that. But yeah, this that's a rotten bit of luck because this was going this is on the edge of a knife. I'll take the victory though. <laughs> oh dear. I was I was looking and going, okay, you know, 100 infantry versus 80 marines, not a terrible exchange rate. Yeah, I need more uh, infantry. So let's get this territory repaired. The army can be replenished. Back at Boston, we can't recruit any... We might be able to recruit marines here once the admiralty has been repaired and upgraded. That's an option. So we've got 2,600. Upgrade the farm. But yeah, you guys need to replenish and get onto Cayuga. You're going to replenish and push onto Annapolis and Williamsburg and all this good stuff. Right. Okay, so everything looks like... Oh, let's upgrade this iron workshop because we can. Hop over to, the, hop over to Europe. Just demand the surrender of Algiers. We're not going to push on. We're going to make sure we repair this building appropriately. I may keep you as a shipyard. So any Medi any Mediterranean action I've got. Although I will eventually have Malta. More thirst rates. I suppose I can deal with this one being lost. Let's shift my battle fleet over. Steal the sloop from... I suppose I need to steal it from Cartagena, really. So I can free up you. Try and get some of these ships repaired. Good. Okay, so you're all ready to go somewhere. As are you, let's maybe send you to South America. Let's maybe send you to the East Indies. Always look for new trade options. Okay, good. Let's hit N10 and see what happens. Because we may get attacked by anybody. Britain's still holding on in India. The Dutch are continuing to push. Although, did they just... I think they might have just taken a Prussian territory. Then again, Prussia is kind of squeezed. Austria is the dominant power in this European campaign. Although they have lost one of their territories due to rebellion. So, yeah, things may not be going entirely all that well for them.
13 colonies are falling back, which is perfect. More Venetian ships are going out onto the high seas. But I can't tell if they won or lost. I think Genoa did something very similar last turn as well. Sixty-eight thousand, nice. Make sure this fleet is being fully repaired. Upgrade the port and build a sloop. So what we want to do is okay. You guys can't recruit marines, but if I build a naval board, I can build late marines. So I'm not going to try to push too much in the Americas for now, because I know this army needs to be properly balanced, and it, it currently isn't. You men are replenishing, and then we'll soon push towards Cayuga. You men are replenishing, and we'll push towards Niagara from the west. Good, new port emerges. Trade port it is. Like I said, I need to go around and just build some top-level ports, especially in areas I don't necessarily... Well, in, in moments where I haven't got to max out my uh, financial dealings. And what I mean by that is I don't need my, to spend my money in many places at the moment. So let's get some good port upgrades while I currently don't need to spend it max recruiting ships and various other things. Good. Oop, sneezing coming. Apologies for that, everyone. Um, right. Let's upgrade the Jesuit College to a seminary. Keep the Catholicism conversion going. Keep the religious happiness going. This fleet up here, the Jared Watts, may be deployed to block off the Baltic Sea. Prevent Corlin from coming out to attack us. Well, and the Russians, I suppose. 611. We've still got this max. This recruitment train going. That's fine. Have I got a secular humanism? No, I don't yet. Two more turns to get citizenship, though. That's pretty neat. Okay, you're repairing. You're advancing towards Tunis. The Tripoli is allied to us by Savoy, so that's providing a block, a uh, barrier between us and the Ottomans. Cool. I may put Malta under blockade. Ooh. Cologne rebels? Interesting. Spain's going to try and blockade our ports again. So, yeah, we do want to... Once we take out Naples, then uh, that will be the end of Spain as an empire. So I want to take Naples and then trade it to someone. Yeah, but who do I want to trade it with? Maybe the Dutch. Maybe the Dutch, or maybe the Prussian. No, if I take it, if I give it, can't give it to the Prussians. If I give it to the Ottomans, they'll just lose it. Because, oh no, actually, they might, they might not lose it. Where the nations, Genoa is going to do what they did last time. Little feet followed by big fleet. Here comes big fleet. <laughs> Yeah, the British are getting ready to deploy their Malta garrison somewhere. Catholic missionary, Upper Canada. That's kind of perfect, actually. Because I want to send you up to York Factory. Yeah, I'm exempting you from tax to get your town to get your port built. Privateer. Yeah, don't worry, Spain. We're gonna sort you out. Garrison guards, line infantry, three pound a horse. So Mr. Martin is going to put Tunis under siege. Defended by native African troops and grenadiers. Yeah, just put them under siege for now. Yeah, 
you are in fine shape, so you put a Yuga under siege. And then you put Niagara under siege. So that's both of the Iroquois territories under my control. Let's go around and check my construction. You're going to build another sloop. Keep all the roads in tip-top condition. Keep the military recruitment capability growing in Boston. We will want eventually this to be generating more armies for us down the line. We could jump straight down towards Annapolis, but I really do want... Although I suppose I could do that while these things are building. So Philadelphia can handle us not being here. Harrisburg's about to develop. Let's upgrade the steam pumped iron mine. Let's upgrade the farm in Scranton. Okay, got a lot of fights really. So Niagara, Cayuga, and Annapolis will be soon soon be ours. And once we take Niagara, we're pushing on to Michigan Territory, and then before we know it, we're we're opening up front lines against the Cherokee and the Louisianans to the south. Yes, our fleets have arrived. It looks like there aren't any enemies trading here. Oh, there's, there's one enemy. 13 colonies. We send you back to Europe. Tyrell Stark. Ah, we have enemies here. Louisiana. Yeah, it's occupied, and that's where the enemy is. I mean, you can sweep them aside. Blip. Bring the fifth rate dreadnought into our service. Excellent. So then you could do with a. A support fleet and a battle fleet coming out to say hello. Keep the fleets growing. Uh, you're nearly done. Let's make get one of these four threats to become an admiral. Excellent. Keep the main government buildings growing, although... I suppose really it's Madrid where I'm, expand, where I'm focusing my military production. I want to keep climbing up the research track. So I'm building an army board so I can research army staff, college techs. Naval college is a bit unnecessary, I suppose. But veteran marines, what's not to like about them? And then artillery. Well, Ordnance Board gets us quick climb. Puckle guns are useless. Um, but looking at the time, it's time to end the episode. I think we're probably going to end it by destroying... Actually, no, we might keep them under siege for a bit. We may... Well, we will attack Annapolis at the start of the next episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. And we'll see you next time for the continuing advance in North America. Cheers, everyone. Mm -hmm.